gosh, hey, Mr. Kinkle. What are you doing in this elevator in Amsterdam? Hmm, very interesting. Well, since you're in Amsterdam already, how about we just spend the day together? So, Mr. Kinkle, you're coming into the CEO position at WMG after being Chief Business Officer at YouTube for 12 years. How do you see your experience at YouTube shaping the trajectory of WMG? And also, how do you foresee YouTube as helping break and grow the fan bases of WMG artists? Oh my god, that's, that's going to be game changing for the industry. Thank you for that. So, you've talked about how music is undervalued in comparison to the film and TV industry. Specifically, you've talked about how TikTok needs to take a stance on how important music is to the future of their business. So, what I want to ask is, what do you think of UMG's recent move of pulling their artists from TikTok's music? And how will you use TikTok's response to UMG to shape WMG's future relationship with TikTok? Hmm, thanks for telling me. Let's keep exploring. So Mr. Kinkle, you're calling 2024 the year of the next 10 for WMG. So you're setting up WMG for a decade of future success. So I want to ask, how do you see A&R changing this year to set up WMG for that future success? And how do you think what A&R people look for in artists will shift? Hmm, okay, very interesting. You talk about growing the middle class of WMG artists with frontline labels focusing on the artists with the highest potential. So how is this a shift from how WMG currently works and what does this mean for future artists getting signed? With it becoming much easier to become an artist in the industry and listeners having such a wide variety of choices and who they can listen to, how will WMG continue to make their artists stand out? You talk about wanting to develop the direct artist to super fan relationship through products and experiences. And personally, I'm a huge fan of K-pop, which I think does a great job of this. There are artist fan signs, collectible albums, light sticks, you name it. One time I was in South Korea and I saw this whole gaggle of girls set up this organized trading system to get their favorite NCT members photo card. So I'm wondering, do you foresee WMG leaning on K-pop marketing techniques to cultivate this relationship? Hmm, yeah, that's a great idea. How about we keep exploring? So Mr. Kinkle, you've always been on the forefront of doing the next big thing in tech. For instance, you move Netflix from DVDs to digital streaming. So I'm wondering, what do you see WMG's next big technological shift being? Okay, so you're saying AI is gonna play a big role. So, I mean, I know AI can do a lot of different things, ranging from SpongeBob covering a Pink panther -esque song on YouTube to mixing and mastering music much more cheaply and quickly. On the business side, I also know that there are a lot more music-based platforms popping up. So, I know there's Slingshot, who is using AI to help artists gain access to promotion tools and helping them break without record labels. So, in a sense, AI is a threat to record labels' long longevity. So I'm curious, similar to how switching Netflix to digital streaming made it a powerhouse long term, how do you foresee WMG using AI to ensure longevity? Well, Mr. Kinkle, here we are, back where we met. I just want to thank you for such an awesome day in Amsterdam, and I hope you have a great time on the rest of your trip.